health seminar as usual being a Sunday, we gather together and we talk about matters health because we believe that uh, you can live a longer health if, uh, without lifestyle diseases, live a full life and really get to enjoy this life without lifestyle diseases. And uh, today we especially have a very exciting topic that uh, we are going to talk about. This is a topic about chronic diseases. Why wait? Um, and as usual, like the focus is is on how can you avoid chronic diseases at the end of the day? And we're asking a question. Why wait until you get chronic disease? Why don't tackle it in advance before you actually get there? And to take us through that session is a great leader, a leader that you've been in the in the digs with the, with the trenches with him for a very long time. Uh, been with us for more than 20 years in the matters wellness, in matters new life. And he's one of our directors in the business. And this is none other than Dan Odero. So Dan Odero, Karibu Sana, you can take it away. Thank you so much, Fred. Once again, good afternoon, gentlemen. Or if some of us are in the other side of the world, good morning. You know, some of us on the other side, good evening. This afternoon, as Fred has uh, explained and uh, enumerated, that we are talking about matters health. And health matters are things in our country, things that we have a control of in many cases. We're talking about chronic diseases and what can we do about them? And if you're like me, maybe you've asked a question. Lately, there are a lot of people who are suffering from chronic ailments. And these ailments have got, they don't choose who to who hits them. I mean, it's, if we ask now, who do you know who has got has a heart disease? Many of us have people we know who have that. Who do we know who has got cancer? I can name a few, and there are quite a number. And that is the same for a lot of chronic diseases. But the question begs, what are you doing about it to avoid getting that chronic disease? What are you doing? Some of us saying we're praying about it. Good thing to do. Very good thing to do is pray about it. But you cannot just stick to prayer. You have to go out and do something about it. So that we don't complain later. But I wish I knew. We are going to talk about things that you could do that mitigates the fact that you can end up with a chronic disease. There are many things you can do. Chronic diseases don't sleep up on us. You don't wake up one day and you have a chronic disease. It doesn't happen like that. It doesn't happen that you wake up today and I, oops, I have a heart problem. I have this disease, it doesn't creep up on me, it comes over a period of time. And there are things you can do on a day-to-day -day basis that can mitigate you getting the disease. And we'll, we'll talk about this this afternoon. It is important also when you have a challenge to see your doctor, if you're not feeling well, don't just, do as many people sometimes do, just go to a chemist and say, let me take something. It's good to go to a doctor. It is important. But that's not just the end of it. You have to do that, but you also tell them things you can do for yourself. Take control of your own health. This is what we're talking about. We go to doctors when that has failed. Go to a doctor, do not say, I let me try whatever I have the concussions or I feel like this. Let me just go to the chemist over the counter. It is a bit different. It's a bit of a. It's not so advised to do that. We are not doctors, but over the years, over the last twenty-seven years, I got into an area that was where we addressed health. 27 years ago, I was probably like some of us who says, 
things about our health, things like supplementation. Ah, we have been cheated about this. Why should I? Why should I take a supplement when I can get fresh fruits? Which is a valid question. Valid question, but look at the other side where people still, even if they're eating fresh fruits and vegetables, still are suffering. So we're not saying do not do that. Yes, you must, but you also must do a little bit more. Because unfortunately, the fruits and vegetables, unless you're growing on your own field and you're checking on them, we cannot guarantee that we're getting the full value for what we are eating. And this has shown with a number of cases of people getting sick. Some of the diseases we have, chronic diseases, were things that were not part of our lives, was not something we used to see. One of the things that we have as a big problem is something like chronic fatigue. People are eating well, but they are tired. They are exhausted. They are resting, but they're still exhausted. They are things, they've got things like brain fog. They have swollen glands, they have stomach pain, they have bloating, there's nausea, they are not feeling well. They are sleeping, but they're not un they're unrefreshed. Some of these are, are things that we suffer from. And this is the beginning. The body always warns us in advance. It gives us warning signs. These warning signs are so that we do something about it. But many times we have these warning signs and we ignore. We ignore. We go and take simplified things. We say, I have a headache. I just go and take a panel. Let's go, what can I take? We ignore the symptoms the body is crying out sometimes. You need to do something about it. And the company we involved with have addressed these issues from 1960 years ago, have been addressing and they address consistently. Some of the causes and some of us, um, causes of chronic fatigue, we're talking about fatigue here, but this also then gets in, if you don't address it, goes into now chronic diseases. What are some of the most common things that we have? The lifestyle factors, the things that we don't think so much about, alcohol and drugs. Taking a lot of alcohol. Alcohol is not bad. I mean, once in a while you have a drink, I enjoy my drink, but you say, I'm not always. Don't become, let not be a crutch that you go to when you're frustrated, go and take a little something. When you're feeling down, you're unhappy, go and drink something. Excess physical activity. Sometimes you're so busy, you're trying to make ends meet. You're doing two or three jobs. You're running from here. You're running to another thing to make more. You say, "I'm not earning enough. Let me do some more." Jet lag disorder. Sometimes people are jetting out there. They've got a job that they're flying out. They're and they don't rest. Lack of physical activity. You want to always be rest. You always in the house. Give my body a rest for too long, your couch or table. The whole weekend you do nothing. Medications, sometimes you go and take medication over the counter, cough syrup, you sometimes have uh, cough syrup. Mm. These are things that build up to our problems and healthy eating habits. We eat things that are not the best for us. They're not very nutritional. There's no nutritional value, but we eat them because we enjoy them. In moderation, they're not too bad, but when you do it over and over again, I like grapes, I like sausages, which are not bad in moderation, but when you do it over and over again, it's simple. It becomes a problem. It can lead to, these are the things that year in, year out lead to eventually 
a chronic problem, chronic fatigue and a chronic disease. Sometimes you have, something has gone wrong, someone has passed away or you lost a job or that you have this grief. This thing is caused your problem when you get into a habit of just mourning and just being there. The thing that affect us. And not address becomes a problem. Hypothyroidism, overactive thyroid, inflammatory bowel disease, Sometimes we have this kind of problem. Antidepressants, medication and treatment, you have too much of that. You're not taking some counter effect for taking some things when you have chemotherapy. What are you countering the, the poison that you put in there that clears it? What are you doing about it? If you're taking drugs for a long time, for over and over again, for such a long time, do you know you have to clear it out of the body? Or do we just say, ah, we don't think about that. You have got pain and you're constantly on painkillers constantly. What is the effect? What is the effect? We don't address these things. We say, you know, it, we take our medication. When the medication ends, that's it. You just told go and have now, go and eat a balanced diet. What is a balanced diet? How many of us know what a balanced diet is? And some of the things we go and eat, some things where we don't enjoy and we cannot eat too much of them. These things are all, all things that add up to problems that cause us chronic disease in the long run, anxiety disorder, anemia. Because it's a counter effects anemia because we're not having something else, we have anemia. Chronic infections. You're not taking care, you're just going out, you're going out because you're infected, you're, you're not taking care. You're going sick, but instead of taking care and saying, now when I got sick, what am I doing now to rebuild my body with right things? A lot of times, we don't eat the vegetables and fruits that we need to. You find a lot of times fruits and vegetables are being sold outside hospitals. When someone is sick, someone says, yes, now I eat pork. But once you are now back to work, you start eating the wrong foods. Things are going wrong. You don't have anyone to speak to. Depression happens. It gets worse and worse. You put it aside. You don't talk. You don't find. You don't reach out for help. Some of these things cause us a problem and we don't take care of them, we don't address it. These conditions cause, in the long run, over years, one year, two years, three years, 10 years, then you end up with a problem and you wonder, what happened? How did I get here? Our health status, when we are born, one of the things when we are born, our health status should be vibrant. When we have vibrant health and we can have vibrant health all through our lives. When you're born, you're very vibrant. When you see a small baby, the eyes are bright, they're moving around, they're all active. And we should be at 100%, that's what we are. But as time goes on, you get tired, you find things, your vibrancy goes down. You get stressed. You allow stress to be part of your life. You're not earning enough. You're not looking for a way to earn something. No, you say, I'm, I know what I know. When someone offers you an opportunity, say, maybe you can again say, no, no, I'm okay. And that's that stress. But you can do something about it. When you're so stressed, you don't sleep. You're working so much, you don't exercise. Your weight is going out of control, you don't care. And you find from vibrancy, you become less and you get tired, you get exhausted, and then you start getting sick because when the body now loses its vibrancy, you get sick more often. Then get time when you have this once a headache, some is a toothache, sometimes it starts, you're you're not and you're not doing anything about it, you're not you're not addressing it. 
as far as saying, well, I'm, you don't even go to the doctor when you're not feeling well, you're not doing anything about it. Instead of saying, what can I do about it? What do I have to change? Things like cholesterol, use. if you've got stress for too long, a stroke happens. And when a stroke happens, what do you do? Do you address it? Do you change what you are doing? Do you now look for solutions? So your this goes from vibrant all the way down. By the time you are going 80, you are so sickly. You have finished all your funds. You have fundraised your whole family. Uh, wiped out of all they have because they're taking care of you because you don't take care of yourself because you have to go to others. They have to do a to help you. They have to take from their savings to help you because you have not taken care of for yourself. You don't address the problem at the time when the problems happen. Every day, what can I do about it? This is where you can go if you don't start sitting back and saying, what do I need to do? Why am I waiting until it gets this bad before I do anything? Look for natural solutions. Detox your body. It is said and it is advised that every, at least twice a year, do a detox. Twice a year, do a detox. You take me and do a detox twice a year. Have a healthy diet. What are the things I need to eat? Healthy diet. Am I checking on the foods I'm eating? Am I eating the right foods? Am I resting? Am I getting to bed early? Am I exercising a little bit? I'm not saying going to the gym, but at least a walk. Use the stairs, do those things. Am I avoiding stress? Things that are bad, avoiding smoking, not drinking alcohol too much. Am I doing these things? Am I looking for these natural solutions? Your health is your greatest wealth. And if you don't address it now, you'll address it later. So the best thing is to address it now when there's maybe before it becomes a problem, before it becomes too much, before you become that you have to now get a specialist to help you because you have avoided over time. It's time to reverse the trends. We are so hit by these chronic diseases. Heart disease is a problem. Just the other day, I've heard somebody has went to not feeling well, was, was sickly, rushed to the hospital to just get a checkup. It was too late. He didn't make it. How many hearts we have done that? A friend of mine also, same thing, was playing golf, felt a bit sick, got into his car, tried to get out, bam, attack. did not make it. Why wait until you are at that point when it is you have now, it is no, <laughs> why wait when there are things you can do on a day-to-day -day basis? Cancer. Some of us don't, for those of us, cancer, um, it, is a, it is a serious thing. And we, we I, 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 I think about them and we, but some of us who don't have, and we see them around us, do we think we're special that we'll never get it? What are we doing to avoid ever being able to get it out? Oh, you had it. What are you doing to make to control it? What are you doing on a day-to-day basis? Are you just praying? Which is a good thing to do. I'm saying it is very good to pray, but do more. What can I do about it? What things do I have to do on a day-to-day basis that can help it? Diabetes. Diabetes now, type 2 diabetes is becoming a chronic thing. Every people have diabetes who don't know. They think of their diabetes, they don't know. The stroke is coming. Some people don't realize it. Chronic respiratory diseases is there. These are things that sometimes we just live with them and we are being careless when we should be doing something about it and we can do something about it. 
Go back to the beginning. What are the things that we can do to mitigate these things? What can we do? The World Health Organization and also now Neolife has come up with a pyramid that is good for us. At the basis of this is a lifestyle that is exercise that you need to be doing. And if you're not, start today. Start today. Start having your basis. Am I exercising a little bit? Am I being a having an active lifestyle? Is my basis of my eating whole grains? Am I having more fruits and vegetables, not just because when I'm buying them only at the time when someone is sick that I start thinking about them? When I have children, I give the children, the wives and the children are eating, the women are eating, but we don't eat less protein and a little bit of fat. Are we keeping the pyramid this way? Are we looking at it every day? Are you take an audit of how your lifestyle is? Audit it every day. Because otherwise, you can be like the gentleman here, enjoying our foods once in a while, it's okay, but you have to have moderation. Enjoy your chips, enjoy them once in a while. Not every other day. Don't turn the screen upside down that you're having a little bit of no activity, minimal activity, you're without the TV, you're, you're taking your car, you're driving here around, minimal activity. And you don't take care of that. Fruits and vegetables only when someone is sick or when you still say, hey, maybe you should buy fruits and vegetables. I remember one time, my brother, when I was growing up, his lips turned black. And they wondered what happened. Why was he lips black? They went for a check on when my mom, mother took him for a check up and says, it is because for one year he had not eaten any fruits. One year. How many of us have gone for years without any fruits? And why are we doing that? Because they're too expensive. How can I afford the price of the fruits? And how can I afford one year? We're not auditing how we are eating on our day to day basis. What am I doing? Yamachoma, we have love it the kilo and we are eating and we're enjoying it and we don't think of the effects of having it. Over and over again. A little bit is okay. But all the time, and because it's easy, fats and sugars get your eyes. Your things, which I say in moderation, okay, but if you have it all the time, how many times do you eat this meat? You say, how many times? Take a chart and check. Are we checking? Because if this happens, then we cannot blame anybody when we have life systems affecting us. We cannot blame anybody else. We can't point the finger at anyone else because it's us who is doing that. What can you do about it? Because sometimes I've said, of course, there are times when we, uh, there's an argument, of course, sometimes the fruits and vegetables we eat, the things we eat are not, been good, are not as good as they used to be before. People are growing, sometimes farmers now are growing fruits and vegetables, growing things to look good to our eyes, but they don't have. Case in point, back in the days, you go to Morana, take a fruit, you're having fruits, take your apple, you throw it in the ground. Two days later, it's growing. Now you throw it there, it dies, because the ground is when you all used. So we sometimes say the food we have is less has got less nutritional value than this because people are great for profits. They say, let it look good, but it doesn't really have dirt. So you're saying, oh, then why should I bother? Because I cannot get the right ones. So, but still, you need to try. But what else are you doing? Much more, because you have to do a little bit more. If you don't do a little bit more, then later on, you'll have to dig into your pockets more. You'll have to go and look for others to help you more. Because at that point, you reach a point where you're chronic, you've got something that is not going, you have to look for a specialist to help you. Audit what we're doing. Be careful. What can you do about it? Ask the question, what can I do about this? 1958, almost 60 years ago, the founder of New Life, Jerry Brassfield, used to have the problem of chronic, a problem of he had a chronic breathing, he had a who had a problem. His mother helped him with natural solutions. 
The natural solutions are the things that helped him. Not just medication, natural solutions. And because of that, he was interested in saying, what can we now do to get people things that are natural that can help them? Many of us think that because these food supplements are things that only Wazungus, the white man, is cheating us about in the West. They talk about that here. We have got fresh things and we cheat ourselves, but we don't look at the results of people. How many people are in hospital? How many people are sickly? Even if we have these fresh things out there, because sometimes we don't even eat them. How much can you eat of those ones? And some of them are not as good. So Neolife came up and said, what can we do? We can put this back into a supplement that what we're eating is supplemented, not complete. It complements what we have. So the basis, and that's what you say, based in nature, how does nature have it? Then backed by science, which is end that we now have something that works. And Jerry Presley came up with the, the company New Life, and that started back in the day. It's the result of a vision, the belief that we make the best organic products that people can use. And besides that, he was not a scientist, but he got there was a scientific advisory board that is active to date, is active, founded by Arthur First. Dr. Arthur First is the man, is the scientist who came up with chemotherapy, treatment for cancer. He's the one who came up with it. The, huh? the person who came up with it is Dr. Arthur First, who founded the scientific advisory board. The late, he's now late. But they have scientists, doctors, and scientists who research and say, is the product as good as it should be? What do we need? How can we get it in our foods? Not only in medication, because medications always have side effects. Sometimes you take for too long to eat medication for a period of time. Supplementation you can take continuously without any side effects because they're natural. Medication takes care of when you have not you had as sickness comes in, you have to treat it. As you go to a doctor, I treat it. You treat it. After you've treated it, you don't continue on medication after some, take it for a period of time. And then after that, what more do you do? You now go back to the natural things, the foods. And at times, the foods that we have don't have enough. So the supplementation. The new life difference is that they are based in nature. The products that they produce, they check on them. The products tested, tried. For the last 60 years, they've been checking that the product works. The products that they produce fast are still being used to date. What's the result? And they try on human trials. They don't do it on only animals. They do it on human trials. That it's something that is good for us that we check. There are many companies that produce supplementation that are out there. There are many companies. Some people say there's a lot of competition out there. Some are cheaper, some look better, some look. But in many occasions, on more than one occasion, I've gone where I've been told by somebody, I went elsewhere. I was using a product from a company. But I went back to the doctor, the doctor said there's no result. How sure are you that the product you're using is a good quality product? How sure are you? You're not a scientist, you cannot go and check for yourself. How sure are you? Best to have a company that has a board that researches, checks. Results are done. Every year we have a conference with, with Stanford with supplementation and disease prevention, which is better to do. Be sure a company that you are sure of, that do research, check on them. When someone tells you something, check on the background, do research. Check who else talking about it. One of the first products they produced as a new life was a product called uh, TreeNN. Because one of the times, one of the things that was a problem in 1950s that time was chronic fatigue syndrome. People were getting tired, tired to the point of dying of exhaustion. Now they found when they did a study by the US government, not by 
the US government did a study that showed what was happening here. And they found that in the, the because of people moving to cities, when they move to cities, you have to feel a whole, you have to feed a million people. How do you feed a million people with fresh foods? It can't happen because the fresh food will go bad very quickly. So what they did, clever thing to do was to process. Processing is not bad. They process, but they process, they remove the essential elements, which jam, rice bran, soya. They remove the essential thing. And gave us back something that is devoid of the essential thing. This lipids and steroids, not steroids, steroids were important in making the cell wall healthy. And you can see the diagram there, the cell wall, a healthy cell, over here, a health, an unhealthy cell, it is not healthy. The cell covering is not healthy enough. The things that you eat, you are not getting into the cells, and we've got 73 trillion cells that have to be fed. So if you have an unhealthy cell, no nutrients get in, no toxins get out, it's like, and being an, you're eating, but things are not getting into your food. You're, you're eating, but you're hungry. You're not going. You are eating for for while we are eating and not going to the for a long call. What something's happening? Those are our cells. You just are not getting in. Toxins are not getting out. Then you feel sick. Of course, you become sick, and with time, if you do that for years, of course, you get a chronic disease. But the product they got in three N N. Three in one, three NN, rice bran, soya, wheat jam, put into a supplement. Whole grain. This one had from that time has not changed. We're the only company in the world that has this formulation. Makes the cell wall healthy. Anything you eat gets into the cells, as we can see over here, gets into the cell. Toxins get out. Your cell works optimally. You begin to feel better. You begin the body which has been made to take care of itself. It feels gets it feel better. If you're on medication, by taking training, the medication gets in better. Whatever you're eating also gets in better because you're bad. Because now at the cellular level, we have nutrients getting in nowhere. That's the toxins getting out of nowhere properly. All those poisons you put in your body sometimes get out properly. Then you have got an uh, opportunity to get better. This is the first product that was produced there and has never changed. 60 years. The people who used it at that time are still alive. No side effects, natural product. Secondly, fruits and vegetables. As I said, we have to have fruits and vegetables in our. How many times do we have fruits and vegetables? Audit your eating for the month. How many times have I had my fruits and vegetables? Different colored ones. Apricots, apples, those things. If you go and buy the shop, how much does it cost you? Some say, I. With a family, how can I afford to put my food all the time? You must still try. But they came up with a product called carotenoid complex. Carotenoid complex now clinically proven increases your immune capacity by 37% in 20 days. Now, it's not only us who say the World Health Organization is the one who said this. The carotenoid complex has the power of 115, 115 fruits and vegetables or from vegetables in every bottle, 115. So you're having your vegetable, you try to have yours, but then you're making sure that I'm getting enough. So am I getting enough here, my fruits and vegetables? Carotenoid complex. And for those of you who have not taken carotenoid complex, Please, today, make an order for it. Because one of the things that's besides in boosting your new system by 37%, clinically proven, not just by word of mouth, clinically proven, 
besides boosting your immune system, it slows down the rate of growth of cancerous cells in our bodies. And all of us, ladies and gentlemen, all of us are prone to cancer. We're not so sure what causes it. All of us are prone. We have the likelihood, and, I, and this has been shown by the number of people who are in hospitals. They're having fruits and vegetables, but they're not yet, they're still getting sick. Now, if you have enough, it slows down the rate of growth of cancer cells in the body to the point that if you had a cancer that was growing, it slows it down so much by the time it manifests itself as a bad thing, 100 years have passed. Do you care that point? Still, you have lived your life. This is what that product does. What are you doing today? What are you doing? Ask your friends this. What are we doing about cancer? Go for tests, yes. But what are we putting in our mouths? What are we trying to mitigate? Our risks. Carotenoid complex slows it down. Boost the system, slows it down. You must have this product. Now, I know somebody else, I, I, there was a case of somebody who had, was diagnosed with intestinal cancer. One of my clients, and a friend of ours, and, uh, and they, went in to, they, went in, they went in to have a checkup, which is a good thing to do. The doctor said, you need chemotherapy. For the month of chemotherapy, it will cost you a million shillings. Now, a million shillings, they had a big family, but said all of us working a million shillings in a month is a little bit high. It's a little bit high for us. It's a little bit high to raise a million shillings a month. How many of us have got a million shillings just stashed away? A million just just stashed away somewhere. A million shillings. So they came crying and said, "What can we do?" Now they came to us in new life. Besides, we're not doctors, but we have got a health professional council of doctors who you can go to, who can tell you, there are oncologists, there are people there. And this case, there was one of our doctors who is Dr. Fatma Abdallah, who is also a man, but she's also an oncologist who talks about cancer. She says, she told the person, instead of doing the chemotherapy, which you cannot afford, so you are looking at death because you couldn't afford it, you are going to, you couldn't afford it, use a product she called Phyto Defense. Phyto Defense is had carotenoid complex in it. Carotenoid complex was there in Phyto Defense. Cruciferous plus flavonoid. Take that product instead. If you can afford at least take that. This is one of the most expensive products in your life. The kind of Phyto Defense is one of the most expensive products in your life. Costs you about cost, might cost you about for the month, cost you about twelve thousand bucks. Expensive, but compared to chemotherapy, advised by a doctor, not by me. Advised by a doctor. Take this instead. Advised by a doctor. Instead of one million in the month, she spent twelve thousand, and of course she repeated that next month. For four months, they took the phyto defense product. This product, four months. On the fourth month, which means she meant to spend what, 48,000? Compared to one million shillings? Do the math for yourself. Four months, she went back for a checkup to that doctor. So it's time to go back to your doctor for a checkup. He couldn't find the cancer. Some people say we have got good things but expensive. Compared to what? <laughs> then we have omega-3 salmon oil, the fish cap, salmon oil, omega-3 salmon oil plus. All your eight omega-3s clinically tested ultra pure. Now, some people have had some people say, but I can get omega-3 cheaper than you guys out there. One of the times, one of our doctors from New Life, one of the scientists, Dr. Fred Hooper, was in Kenya. 
and he says, let me look at the coin. Let me check what, 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 what is the, what, what, what is the competition saying? The others who are saying we have the same, we have as good. He went into a shop, asked the chemist, where's your omega-3? This is ours, where is yours? The chemist showed him, yes, your omega-3. This is our omega-3. The omega-3 there, he went and looked at the ingredients, because he's a scientist, he can tell. To ask me, look, I cannot, I don't know what I'm reading. Me, I'm just reading by I don't know what I'm reading. He went and started looking at what he was reading there. He says, I don't see any omega-3 ingredients in this product. He asked the chemist, what is happening? The chemist said, there's no omega-3 in there, but it's called omega-3. Some people, unfortunately, if you didn't know this, some people sell products because they know to be talking about the product, call it that, but it has nothing it in it. So you go out there and say, I am saving money. I am going to get a product, better price. This one from you know, like what a two, your product is expensive. What are you going? Let me go. You are putting money in the toilet. Omega 3 salmon oil plus has all these effects here. For people who have had a stroke. This is the product you have. This is the product you must take. Take this product because it will prevent another from happening. My mother that day was having problems, having pain in her joints, pain, that pain. And she was in so much pain at night and she said, what did I take? I had some omega-3. I told her, mom, please take this, take nine of them. Take six before you go to bed. Take another three as you go to bed. The next morning, she asked me, is that a pain killer? It clears the pain. People have migraine headaches. This is what helps. This is the product. If you got gout, this is the product that will help you. The cholesterol this is the product that will help you. If you are a sports person, this is the product you must take. Try it and test it. We have got people giving testimonies all the time because this is a product has been tried and tested and works brilliantly. Then you've got the multivitamins and vitamin products, the essential vitamins and minerals there. The World Health Organization estimates that 66% of the to 80% of the world's population is deficient in things like iron. Multimineral plus a factor here. And if you know, you have got anemia, anemic, chronic anemia. Take that. Eat your liver, yes. But some of us don't like liver. So you don't like liver, what do you do? Look for something else. Good. And in your multimineral plus a factor, you have your, you will have that for your iron. This is the things you can take. Because anemia then causes other problems you have. It's a complete balance here yeah, that we have there. Yeah? Proprietary blend, added iron, helps. So some of the solutions you do, if you want to your body type and you say, I'm having a problem, my pyramid is upside down, what I do, one of the things you put into that and do it on Monday, on Monday, call the person who invited you here and says, can I get a pack of Pro Vitality? If I cannot get, can I get the different packs? Can I get some TNN? Can I get some carotenoid complex? Can I get some omega-3? Can I get some multi for my multi to make sure that what you are getting that you are addressing these problems on a day-to-day -day basis what are you doing about it if you're not doing it, what else are you doing and the benefits of having for vitality it's, power, it's a powerful antioxidant, a powerful antioxidant protection, lifelong heart health. So you won't have that. You're not sure, worried that if you have, you can't breathe sometimes and you're, you're doing something about it. Your immune system is being boosted so that if someone comes in with something else, COVID hit us, we're not so worried because the immune system is stronger, it can fight itself. Your brain function works well, your joints are good, your clear vision, 
you've got usual skin and nails. When you're taking carotenoid complex, your skin looks more. But I think this, you're eating your fruits and vegetables, but you're also doing a little bit more. And then the thing is like, when you now, you just at the age CoQ10, this is a product that you take, promotes cellular energy, boosts overall stamina, cardiovascular health, enhances muscle energy. These are the things that now will help you. Reduces muscle pain, soreness, you know, every time you go in and you have a problem, you take some, you take, and you're taking medication, you're overloading your kidneys. And if you take it for so long, with time, what happens that you begin to have a problem? That at one point, then you start having kidney failure and you start wondering why? Because you're medication for too long and not clearing it out. But this, Things alleviate that, at least chance of migraines. So you take, take, a, take a, a, a medicine all the time you're feeling happy, take a supplement, cook you 10, when you're a little bit older, when you're, over, you're going over 50, and this, this is what you can take, connective health. Because sometimes you can be pumping people with medication, but you're causing a problem in the long run, you're causing a chronic problem in the long run. The kidney sometimes will say, ah, hey, we can't take it anymore. But with the supplementation, you now you don't overload it. These are some of the supplements that you can have and they're available to you. You can available the person who invites you can get them for you. Formula 4 with 3 NNs there, the CoQ10, the salmon oil, true salmon oil plus. Your vitamin B complex. So when women are feeling the nausea and things, this is something you can take. In a time when you go for, sometimes when you hear that somebody has got, has, uh, has got cancer and they have to go for an operation, sometimes they say, the body needs something else and they're missing something. A lot of times it's the vitamin B that you're missing in the body before you can go for an operation. Vitamin B is important to have it in your body there. The nausea you feel sometimes when you don't have enough vitamin B helps that. For depression, when you're having depression there, instead of taking other things, medicines, take a supplement. You will start taking your things that become chronic. Those people are sickly. These are the things you need to be taking. And you're taking medicine because it will, it will lessen the load of medication you have to take when you start supplementing. Lessens the load that you have to have. These are things you can take with no side effects. For children, it's also something you can take for children. All see the chewable, nice, tasty ones you can take for children. Liquivite, the babies, what can I give my baby? Liquivite there as a, it's very good. As a liquid you can take. Until you're having the fruits and the other things there, take your liquivite, take this for children, have them as sweets. Instead of buying them sweets and they like, yeah, this is something they can take as an alternative. Vitagan is your carotenoid complex for children, boosting with them, clears cancer. Nowadays, the cancer ward for children is full. There's a whole ward there. What are we doing? What are we doing to improve Vitagan? Chewable, nice, vital squares, all your vitamins and minerals, your nutri shake. These are things you can do on a day-to-day -day basis every day without worrying that I'm overloading my kidneys, that I'll have a failure later. Because if you, this is things that you have to think about, how long have I done this for? How long have I taken medication for? How, how many times have I gone for my detox? For, have I removed this toxin that I've been taking over the years? Have I cleared them out of my body? If you don't do this, sometimes you'll find that you have to go back to people. Your life has got targeted solutions for so many things that if we don't, if address, will avoid us from having chronic diseases. Things like that for bone and joint health, for stress management, 
to clear your mind sharper for weight management, in things that will not cause a problem, for energy, for fitness, for digestive health, for boosting your immune system, your sugar levels management, your botanical, the thing that you can do. And then around the house, what am I using in my house that might be causing me a problem that might be a big problem later? Poisonous things you put in the house. How safe? How safe are the things we're using in the house? We have home care solutions, products that we use that make sense. When you start thinking about chronic disease, these are the things that we can do on a day-to-day basis. Please. Why wait until you are told by a specialist who you've paid millions to that you need to why not do something about it now? Why not do something about that? And you can. Why wait when you've lost your job? Or why wait when you have stress with money that you can do something? You can do something about it every day by using products and becoming and recommending to others. You can build a business. We must recommend things to other people. We recommend, we recommend, we recommend, and we never get paid for it. Now, when you're told you can do that for a benefit, that you can put something in your pocket, sometimes we say, no. <laughs> but these things can make you put money in your pocket when you recommend to others. Besides helping yourself, you help somebody else. Ladies and gentlemen, let us think about why wait until the situation is dire before we do anything. Let us audit what we're doing on a daily basis. What do I need to do? What are the foods I'm eating? What am I using in my household? What is my body telling me that I'm lacking, that I need to do more of? Where can I get it? Yes, at times, yes, of course, we said sometimes, I cannot do fruits and vegetables, I cannot do fish all the time because it's expensive, so I do the cheaper things. But think about it. How long have I avoided doing something serious to make it better? And if my money is my problem, what else can I do? Why wait until you've got a fantastic, the perfect business, a nice shop that is meant... Why not do something that you can do on a day-to-day basis every day? Things that you buy, buy something that's my own business. Every time I buy something my own business, it means money in my pocket. When I recommend and in my own business, when I recommend, the fact that I've recommended means that I can also make some money for myself because somebody else has been interested by me. Neolife has built a business that can be done, begun, part time, tomorrow, begin, not later, tomorrow. Call the person who invited you and tell them, how can I start? How can I invest? How can I start tomorrow? Because even if I'm in a busy office, I can still start a business, will not take for me. I can start it on a part time. It's developed to start on a part time basis in 50 different markets. They have a well set website, well set back office. You can send somebody, someone can buy off your off your site, you can recommend, if you don't know what to say, send them to Fred, send them to Dan, send them to Lydia, send them to people who are here, who have done business. Let them explain for you. Have your business building. Why wait until you're in, you're, you're desperate. Do something. Let's do something today, ladies and gentlemen. I I hope I have triggered something in your mind. I hope you have seen an opportunity that you, and now you know what you can do. Don't go and say, I don't know what to do. I am not aware. You have a solution with you. We have members here who are ready to help you, who have been in the business for long, who have tried, who have tested, who have begun to make extra income by the side, who have been able to get away from the stress of not having enough money in their pockets, 
by doing things that they normally do like this and tell a few others and build international businesses, this is what is here for you. Don't wait until you have to call Harambe's. Don't wait until you have to go and look for a specialist. Don't wait until you hope that God can do a miracle. Do it now. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this has been helpful. I'll hand it back to Fred, close off. And let's plan for the week. Let's plan what you're going to do for you. Audit what you've been doing. Get something going for yourself. Fred, back to you. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. That was fantastic, as usual. Uh, you've outdone yourself. Um, you seem to be getting better with age. That was just amazing. Guys, I cannot add anything else. Dan has said it all. Um, talk to the person who invited you. Um, he'll help you to get these products. This recording will be available a little bit later tonight. Um, so you'll be able to get it. Talk to the person who invited you to this call. He'll be able to share the recording with you. Uh, otherwise, if you want to know more about the business, let's meet tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Uh, we'll be having another fantastic session with our leader from South Africa, Pascal Olo, uh, who will be taking us through how do you make money? How do you um, build a business from these wonderful products that Dan has talked about? But as Dan has said it, the ball is in your court. Uh, do something about it. Start small. Get some products. Start using these products. Do some shopping in your life and uh, create your own story. Create your own destiny. Um, don't wait until you're sick, uh, but take care of your, you, yourself beforehand. As the saying goes, a stitch in time saves how many? Nine. So do the right thing now. Get some products. Use them and you'll create a wonderful testimony that can help somebody else. Otherwise, thank you so much. See you again next Sunday when we are going to talk again about health. We'll be having another exciting speaker who will be talking to us. Invite a friend along so that they can also be empowered. But more importantly, later today when you get the recording, share it with a friend um, so that they can also get empowered. So thank you so much. God bless you and have a restful Sunday evening. Bye-bye. Thanks again, Dan. That was wonderful. Bye-bye, Beatrice. Bye-bye, Dan. Bye for now.